name is Jesse Mwai. Thank you so much for joining me, even as we just spend a few moments together, as we share some words of wisdom from the Word of God and from my life experiences. I want to just challenge your thinking. I know we all want to belong to relationships. We, will, we, we belong to one another. We want to be able to interact with one another, but in a healthy way. However, in life, I've also discovered that it's important for you to ensure that you're choosing your friends and your acquaintances very, very carefully and very wisely because it will affect you one way or the other, the kind of people that you hang around. So allow me to just share with you six kinds of people or six types of people that you need to walk away from. Not everybody is supposed to play an active role in your life, especially if you're somebody who is going somewhere. So the first kind of person that you need to walk away from are people who are actually envious, people who are consumed with jealousy because if they are envious, you will obviously be able to notice that they are not always happy for you, they don't cheer you along, they will always try to water down any achievement that you may have, you may have achieved. They may, anytime you share with them something good, they don't seem to be too excited or they will always throw in a word of, of negativity. They find it difficult to just rejoice with you or you can actually sense that they're not too happy. That's somebody you don't need in your life. You need to walk away from them because that's a very dangerous person because it's just a matter of time before they pull something on you that you will not see coming. Jesus, uh, remember one of the reasons that they arrested him was because the religious leaders of the day were envious. The Bible says that they were envious of him. Be careful about envious people. Walk away from them. You don't need that kind of negative energy. The second kind of people that you need to walk away from are people who actually betray you. Now, in this life, like Jesus Christ was betrayed by Judas, there will always be somebody somewhere who will betray your trust. Maybe you trusted somebody, you thought that you had something going on, you thought that you could share your life with them, or you thought that you could actually trust, trust them, maybe in the workplace, but they betrayed you. They went behind your back, they backstabbed you, they gossiped about you, they tried to bring you down. That's a very dangerous person. And I want to encourage you, walk away from that kind of a person, somebody who betrays you. Of course, we forgive them, but walk away from them. It's time to walk, cut that link and move on with your life. Another, the other kind of person that you need to walk away from are people who use and misuse you. Now, you notice that there are people who are just in your life simply for what they can get out of you the mileage they can be able to get out of you. Uh, they only call you when they need, when they need some money. They only call you when they need a, a certain favor, one day or the, but they're never there for you. They misuse your generosity. They misuse your kindness. Uh, these are people who are never thankful. You know, they are always sticking and they never give anything in return. It's time for you to walk away from them because those kind of people, the only use they have for you is what they can get out of you and they are going to misuse you. They're going to misuse your generosity. The fourth kind of people that you need to walk away from are actually toxic people. There are people who by, you know, they have chosen to be toxic. These are people who are full of bitterness. These are people who are never happy. They are always complaining. They're always pull, trying to pull everybody down around them. They are never happy. I mean, they, they don't seem to ever have a happy moment. And even if there is, it's short-lived. They are just toxic and they're always talking ill about one and other people. They are always trying, to, they always seem to have a beef to pick with everybody around them and they are always so miserable. These are the kind of people when they, when they, maybe you get into a new relationship, they want to destroy it because they don't like that person that you're associating with. Those are toxic people, people who are full of bitterness, they have anger issues, they have rage in their hearts and their heart is not right. Let me tell you, toxicity uh, is infectious. It is radioactive. With the more you hang around somebody who is toxic, it will begin rubbing in on your soul. It will begin also uh, toxifying your own soul and your own heart. Walk away from toxic people. The fifth people that you need to walk away from are people who are hypocrites and pretenders. You know the people who pretend to be something that they're not? People who pretend they like you, they pretend they love you, 
they, they are always pretending. They are always they, they, they are always putting on a show. They they seem to be dramatic. I mean, they these are people who put on a very very good show around you. Around you, they are friendly. Around you, they flatter you. But when you're not there, only God knows what happens and the things that they do behind your back. Please be careful. Be careful and walk away from people who are pretenders, hypocrites. They are hypocritical in their in their relationship with you. They pretend to be your friend, but they are not your friend. Then uh, finally, number six, walk away from high maintenance people. There are people who are simply high maintenance. In other words, it is difficult to please them. They are always making a demand on you. They always saying, oh, you do. you're always complaining that you're not never there for them. They are always complaining that you don't call them enough. They are always complaining that you don't spend time with them. And by the way, you, they leave you drained. They leave you tired. You're always tired trying to keep up with them, trying to make them happy, trying to please them. Those are high maintenance people. They are always changing goalposts. You know, today it is this, tomorrow it is that. That's a high maintenance person. They will drain you, they will make you tired, they will make you miserable. Walk away from those kind of relationships. Please, I just want to encourage you. This does not mean that we hate people. This does not mean that we don't forgive people. This does not mean that we don't make friends. This does not mean that we don't reach out to people. But we have to be strategic because life is short. And you, if you are on a journey to greatness, it is important who you associate yourself with. If this has been helpful to you, please share the video with somebody uh, on any one of our social media platforms, on Facebook, on YouTube, and may the Lord bless you.